Now let's talk about ID and class attributes. An ID attribute is unique and the class attribute we can actually use in as many elements as we want. So how it would work, right? So over here, let's say this heading one, right? If I would go over here and I place an ID, and if you remember when we were working with the links, right? How we wrote an ID. We said an attribute, right? ID is equal to, and over here we wrote the name, right? So in this case, I'm gonna say this is gonna be main heading. Right? And the point with an ID is I don't want to give this an ID to anything else, right? Because later on I'm going to be maybe targeting with JavaScript or something. And actually if I have a bunch of them, right? And if I'm targeting by ID, I'm going to assume that there's only going to be one element, right? But actually there's going to be many of them. And that's going to wreak a havoc, right? So with an ID, what you want is actually target only one element, right? So if you have a specific element that you want to have this only one ID, unique ID, you actually use ID attribute. Now, if you want to use class, right? So let's say for the paragraphs, right? You can go over here and you can say that I would want the class, right, over here. And I'm gonna say para, which is gonna be for paragraph, right? Now, why would I use class, right? So remember how I was before telling you, right? That if we're targeting all the paragraphs, right? We're gonna be targeting all of them, right? So if I write my type as P, it's actually going to be targeting all of them. Now let's say over here, if I just add this class to two of them, I'm only going to be actually targeting two of them. So let me show you how it works in real life, right? So we go to a main CSS, right? And we need to remember that we have one ID, main heading, and one paragraph, right? So if I go back over here, and I'm going to delete this div and span that we had before, and I didn't delete it completely. So over here, I'm going to make new lines, and I'm gonna say that ID. And how do I would target an ID? I would need to place a hashtag, the same as how would I target from the link, right? And over here, the name of our uh, ID was main heading over here. And again, I would need to apply the rules. Now, the cool thing about brackets, you can see that right away, this light blue color, pretty much tells you that what you're working with, right? It tells you the element or the elements that you're targeting. So over here, I'm going to say again, since it's going to be main heading, I'm going to say font size and let's say 100 pixels, right? So that's it. I target that ID. I didn't have to target, let's say if I would have another heading one, right? I wouldn't be targeting that heading. I would be only targeting this heading one. Now with the class, it's a little bit different. With the class, we would need to place a dot over here. And if you remember, the class was para over here like this. And again, if I make these funny looking brackets, Again, you can see what happens, right? You can see that it's targeting this paragraph and targeting this one. However, you can see that it's not targeting the third one, right? So here again, if I would use our famous already by now, right? Property that we learned is the background uh, color. If I go over here and if I say that this is gonna be yellow, right? You can see only two of my paragraphs have a background color uh, yellow. The third one, right, doesn't because it doesn't have a class. And of course, if I go, I'm gonna go over here and if I'm just gonna grab this class para and add it over here, it's gonna turn yellow, something like this, right? And obviously it's gonna work the same with the heading. It doesn't matter that I have this para. As long as I have the same class over here, you can see even heading right now is uh, yellow, right? Now, the thing is what you need to remember is about IDs, just you use them unique, right? Use them on one thing. Now you can obviously combine them, right? Or here I could have said ID over here and I would say heading two, right? Heading two over here like this. And if I would go back over here, now you can see that it's targeted by class first and then it has an ID. So if I go back and I'm gonna say this was ID and heading over here, we're gonna say two, right? And let's say with this one, I'm gonna say font size. And let's say with this one, I'm gonna say font size. And the font size over here, I'm gonna say this is gonna be not 100, but let's say 50, right? You can see that it still worked, right? There was no problem because I had both. I have an IDs and I have classes. And when you are gonna be working on a project, you're gonna see that it's very common to have an ID and then it has some kind of class that's gonna appear. And in general, this is the way it would work, right? So let me get rid of them for now, right? We know that we can actually apply them to the elements, right, separately. But let me show you why I was telling you about the div and the span and how it would work, right? So we're gonna go back over here and we're gonna delete all these, right? All the classes are gonna be gone. 
because I just want to show you how it would work in real life. Now, we obviously would be doing something similar like this also, right? There, the elements, specific elements are going to have IDs and classes and all that. However, the way I was telling you about divs, right? The whole point is that, like you remember, div had nothing in there, right? Div was pretty much empty unless it has something in there, right? So if I go back over here and if I delete this guy, right, and put it, place it over here. So now I have a div, right? The way it would work, I would say, you know what, this div is going to be, let's say I'm going to give an ID and I'm going to say a second div, right? Again, you can make whatever names you want over here. I'm just, they're pretty redundant. You don't use something like this second div, right, for the ID. It probably would have to be something a little bit more uh, useful later on. But let's say over here I'm going to say div second ID, div, right, div second div ID. And over here, we're going to find some kind of span, right? So we're going to say that this is going to be span. And we're going to say that with a class of color, right? So we're going to say color over here. And now let's write a name. Let's write coding addict over here. And let's find where it is, right? And let's just copy and paste it in a few times, a few places. We're going to go copy over here. And we're going to paste it over here, right? So now two of the spans. And over here with this whole thing, again, I'm going to create another div. And I'm going to say that this div is going to have a class, right? So I'm going to say this div is going to have a class. And the class is going to be, I don't know, heading. Just not heading one, not heading two, but heading, right? Which is, I can apply, obviously, to a bunch of them, right? So over here, I'm going to just cut this one out, right? And now let's go to our style sheet and actually apply the rules, right? So we just need to remember that we have a heading and second div. So we go back to main CSS. And I mean, just for sake of it, let's delete them, right? Let's delete these rules over here like this. And let's just remember again what were the class. The class was heading, right? So if I go back over here, and if you remember, right, we had a dot and heading over here, what we would write, right? Again, our useful background color, or you know what, let's do color. The color is actual for the color of the fonts. So we'll go with color and let's say we're going to go with yellow, right? I mean, this is kind of idiotic. You cannot see anything, but let's say color is going to be like, I don't know, black, blue, blue, right? Now you can see, right? So if I'm targeting the actual div, whatever is in the div is actually going to be colored red. And then this is going to be something called inheritance, which is going to we we're going to cover in a next video. However, the thing is we can apply this class and then we can apply this rule to the heading and then right away the whole thing is going to change, right? So again, if we go back to the second div, right? That that example, go over here. I'm going to say second second div or here like this. And I'm going to say that this is going to have a background color of yellow, right? Now, again, the whole thing turned yellow because I was just targeting the div, right? And I was using a ID or I was using the class in this case, right? Or I can go back and look where is the color, right? And let's say we're going to make this coding addict, I don't know, stand out to be red, right? So we go back over here and we target a class again and we say color over here. And then we're going to say the color is going to be red. So color, we're going to say red over here. Now you can see that all the spans, what happened, right? All the actual letters and all the words actually turn red. Because again, we're targeting the class or the ID. And what you're going to see a lot in when we're going to be working, especially with our projects, we're going to be mostly targeting the classes, the IDs, because it just makes sense because we can group them together.